do you accept the results that Joe Biden will be our next president? Well, first of all, we have to go through the recount process. If what happened so far and all those results are verified by the recount and we go through our process to guarantee that fraud and mismanagement did not occur in the election, and frankly, I don't think that it did in most cases, but President Trump has every right to go through the recount process and we'll have, I'm sure, some sort of legal wrangling to make sure what's happened is legal according to the statutes. That's got to happen to guarantee that there's a fair election. You, you've mentioned a few times it's unlikely there will be, they'll find enough evidence of fraud to overturn this election, but I'm just curious then, why are you still encouraging the Assembly Committee on Elections and campaigns to launch an investigation because there's been no proof of fraud and no evidence of any wrongdoing so far. Well, that's not true. Um, we know, first of all, that there are people who said they were indefinitely confined, which means in the statute's definition, it means like you're in a nursing home or you're not allowed to leave. Well, many people check that box uh, and I'm certain have left their house since they did so in April. That's a felony. That's not allowed to happen. So that's one area where there could be potential need for some sort of legislative remedy because people are committing a crime and it seems like they're not being prosecuted. We know that ballot harvesting was done. We know that multiple ballots have been cast in some certain circumstances. So I wanna make sure that in every one of those circumstances, we investigate it. If there needs to be a legislative remedy where we come forward with a bill that'll make our elections even stronger than they were in 2020, Assembly Speaker Robin Voss, thank you so much for your time today and take care. Thanks, Emily. Have a good day.